हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू योर वेरी ओन चैनल चॉक एंड डस्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो केस यू दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट आर ओन फिश एक्वेरियम एनिमेशन थ्रू स्क्रैच सो लाइक इफ आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ एन कैडियम डेफिनेटली आई रिक्वायर सम अंडर वाटर बैकग्राउंड हेयर ऑन द स्टेज एंड इन द वाटर क्रिएचर्स ऑल्सो सो आई एल गो बैक Here to the stage backdrop first, and click on this adding the stage backdrop. And then from here, I can choose the theme as underwater, and then I need to select one of these backgrounds. So let's select this and click on OK here. And now, definitely, I require some creatures that are fish animals. Like, I'll just delete this cat from here. and go to this new sprite section to insert some sprites i'll go to theme underwater and we'll insert one of the fish over here so this is our fish in the aquarium let's reduce the size a bit so all right so here is a fish which is and this is the aquarium background So I just wanted this fish to be moved across this aquarium forever, always. Of course, whenever there is a fish, so it will always move into the aquarium here and there. Now you can code it as. So definitely, when I want this fish to move always into this aquarium, so inside control we have a block called as forever. So it acts same as repeat. so the difference basically into this repeat and forever is in repeat there is a fixed number of steps so whatever task i am going to do repeatedly for that i need to define the number of steps that how many times i want to repeat the task wherever if i want something to be done permanently forever always i can just choose this forever block instead of this repeat because i can't to specify infinite here in this block so that's why we have this forever block also now i'll go to this motion section so there should be some movement into this fish so i will choose move number of steps and then definitely once it will start moving it will go to the edge of this stage as well so i will put one if on edge bounce so that whenever it will be going to the stage edge and touching it it should bounce back into the stage once it is going to touch the edge its rotation style should also be defined so that if it is touching the right edge it should take the left turn or if it is touching to left turn it should take a right turn so i will choose this left right rotation style now to if i'll click on this you can see will keep on moving forever right now but since it looks like monotonous and in the same direction always what initially i can do is i'll just stop it and i'll put something here like take a turn of say let's take it as 35 degrees so let's turn 35 degree initially and then if i'll click on this so initially what will happen is it will take a 35 degree turn and now it will start moving so it will not be a monotonous mode because each time it will go and touch the edges it will take somehow some different positions and will keep on going now you can see the changed in the positions right so that's how i can define for one fish now definitely if there is an aquarium there will be not only one fish there will be multiple fishes i'll again stop it and do something like i'll go back to this sprite section choose the theme underwater and let's put uh, one star fish over here a bit reduced size so and maybe a bit more and then again the same code will work for this starfish as well so what how can i copy the code from one to another sprite is i can just drag this entire code to over this second sprite and i'll just leave it 
So once I leave it, I can see my actual code on the first fish two is specifically here. And now if I'll click on this starfish also, I will find the same code here. So that means it has been copied onto the second sprite. Now here I can just change the angle so that I can see that how it starts rotating. Yeah. So it is again starting to move into some different directions of this entire aquarium. Similarly, I'll again put one more sprite of fish. Let's pick an octopus. Let's click over here. It'll reduce its size. Now if I want again the same thing, again I will take this code and copy it onto octopus here. Now for this octopus we must have, yeah, so we have some costumes also, so I can just give it a good feel like uh, I'll go to looks and I will keep it like next costume and a weight of point two seconds so I'll click on this now you can see it look like moving a while yeah. so it is again moving somewhere here and there in the aquarium fine so the same we can do with this costumes of these characters also if we have like no we don't have any costume for this fish starfish i would like to keep it as a happy starfish octopus definitely it is showing me that uh, how it is running on let's put some more sprites maybe a shark no i'll put a crab so okay here again we'll reduce the size a bit right so here's a cub let's check the costumes so yeah so you can see this costumes also again i will copy the code of this octopus to this crab as well and we'll change its rotation angle let's say 60 initially here it was 15, here it was 15, so let's make it as 75 initially, fine. Now we have four different sprites and we have different, uh, the same coding for every sprite. The only thing for this octopus and crab we did is that we have kept the <coughs> costume change as well, so that it can give me a feel of movement, fine. Now one more important thing is that at the time of his starting when this uh, entire code is going to execute i need to specify the positions for these sprites as well so from there it should start so i can just go to this motion block and i can specify the positions for these sprites as well so i'll be just choosing these current positions of the sprites as their default positions so that whenever we will be executing these codes, they will start executing from these different locations. So this starfish will start executing from here, this grub will be here, octopus will be here and this fish will be here. Fine. Now since I want all these sprites, I mean once the aquarium will have to be shown, so all these sprites should run together simultaneously. And for that I need to put again go to event and I need to put this when flag clicked over every code so that they can execute simultaneously as early the flag will be clicked fine so we have four different codes on four different sprites with a background of an aquarium and now if I'll just make it a full screen view and we'll click on this flag here comes your aquarium. You can see these different creatures running on the stage here and there. Perfect. Like you can see this angle of for this starfish, I guess, is somehow malfunctioning. I need to go to starfish. 
location and well let's decide it is 75 degree and now if I just try to check it out yeah so it's working perfectly fine let's just drop it right so once again I'll start executing it and it will show me that how is it working One more important thing is that I can control the speed of these creatures as well. Like you can see this crab and octopus are perfectly moving. But this fish and starfish are running very fast. So I can control the speed as well. The number of steps I need to reduce. Let's say for this starfish if I put 5. Here yeah, you can see it started moving slow. And for this fish let's keep it as 3 slowly moving from one to another point yeah. so here comes your aquarium your animated your own aquarium which you have created just through simple coding of a scratch hope you guys liked your videos like this video got an idea how can you put some more animations got some of your own creativity expanded and you can learn okay. if you like this video please subscribe share with your friends peers do not forget to stay tuned thank you have a great day ahead